making a quick recording here to show you how to include the little link at the end of an article, a blog post, that says continue reading or read more. It's very easy to set this up in WordPress and I want to show you how to do it real quick. <clears throat> here we have an article that says uh, take a break, make a time for a sabbatical. If I scroll down and you see the article, it's fairly good link, um, very well written out obviously. Um, and what we're going to do, you can see that it's a little long, and you can see on previous uh, articles, you see where it says continue reading. This is what we're going to include on this here so that the reader doesn't have to look and scroll down the entire uh, length of the blog post to see how many other blog posts previously written there may be. So you see where, what that looks like there. We're going to go to the edit portion of what we're doing. You see this is the article here take a break, make time for a sabbatical. What we're going to do is place the continue reading basically at the end of the first paragraph. And so I'm going to click where it says, however, and that's the beginning of the second paragraph. And I'm going to click on insert. And I'm going to click on insert read more tag. And when I click on that, you get a very faint dotted line that says more. And if you look at what the actual HTML code is behind that, there is a, a code that says more. And that tells uh, WordPress to put the read more link on the actual article itself. So we put the read more tag right here at the beginning of the second paragraph, really separating the first from the second paragraph. We're going to click on update. We're going to click on update and give it a chance to update itself. And now that it has done that, we're going to click back over to the original article. And we are going to refresh that article. And now you can see that we've refreshed the article. And you can see where it says continue reading right there. So it basically shortened the uh, full article that we had on the page before and it added the continue reading link and it shortened it to just basically one paragraph. So there's there you have it on how to create the continue reading link or read more link on a WordPress article. Hope you found this helpful and uh, share it with as many people as you think they would find it helpful. Thanks for listening. Thanks. Take care.